This is Genesis Biochar. It's USDA organic certified. It's the good stuff. Hi, I'm Joe Clark. And today I'm really excited to be able to share with you about some of the projects my company's been involved in. Right here in Summers, Montana, where we do our packaging, we have three demonstration sites. We have an organic garden and greenhouse, as well as a five acre field that we contract out to a local non-organic farmer. He grows things like chickpeas, grain, and canola. We applied 100 yards of this biochar to the demonstration field, which yielded us over 60 cubic yards of carbon. We were really excited to be able to put that carbon back in the ground. We've seen significant increases in the crop yields in all three demonstrations, and the fruits and vegetables from the greenhouse and the garden have been amazing. Every year, the farmer's been doing soil tests, and we'll be doing some plant tissue testing on the crops moving forward, and we hope to make those results available soon. Our company provided biochar to the Washington State University. They used it for testing the viability of evaluation of biofiltration swell media mixes for maximizing phosphorus removal. The team tested samples from numerous biochar manufacturers, and I'm proud to say that Genesis Biochar was chosen as the top performer for the project. The goal of the study is to create a viable way to filter runoff and groundwater with phosphorus compounds. The focus is on stormwater, but it's also applicable to ag. Since phosphorus is a non-renewable resource, these filters can make an important impact on being able to recycle the lost phosphorus. My company also supplied biochar for two interesting projects conducted at the Department of Forest Ecosystems and Society College of Forestry at the Oregon State University. The researchers have completed a study on using biochar to mitigate the use of fire retardant dropped on wildlands. The study concluded that biochar made from wood substrate like ours significantly reduced accumulative nitrogen or phosphorus leaching in the soils impacted by fire retardant. The second study evaluated the effects of biochar cattle trampling and their interactions on rangeland soil carbon and nutrient dynamics. It was a three month field trial that concluded biochar intensive cattle trampling has significant positive results. One of the projects I'm most excited about is the Aquapronics Shrimp and Prawn Project. The Aquapronics company is creating shrimp and prawn farms. Their first completed facility is in Knox, Montana and should be producing product by the end of the year. Besides producing shrimp and prawns, they're going to be creating high quality soil amendments. The plan is to take the nutrient rich shrimp waste and mix it with Genesis biochar, compost and other locally sourced inputs then provide those amendments to local farmers. They're going to do that in exchange for a contract to purchase their crops. So the same companies that will be buying the shrimp also need the crops produced by the farmers. So marketing and delivering the two products together will solve some very important challenges that are common to most farmers, such as marketing and infrastructure. So when this system is implemented, it'll mean more profit for the farmers, the creation of jobs, a reliable regional food source, and help end some of the reliance on long distance food imports. The long-term goal for this company is to duplicate this system across the country. That's all the time we have for today, but if you need to reach me, if you have questions or comments, you can reach me through my website, genesisbiochar.com. We hope to talk to you soon.